the reason why we have Black History Month is because the reality show is our history was taken out of history. And that's why they have to have this focal point. We need to have it all year round. What, there's a reason why you don't have Chinese history. There's a reason why you don't have Asian history. There's a reason why you don't have um, a white history. Because their history is there and their people have passed it on for generations. They have wiped out of Afro-American people. America's people. Mm-hmm. That is from Brazil, Argentina, all the way up right up into canada the afros slaves they nullify their history and you've got a people that don't know who they are and their history so this is the catch-up that we have and we're going to use that and put positive history into our people sure. affinity extra be extra Hey guys, this is Roger Moore here on Affinity Extra. We're here to celebrate gospel music of Black Origin, and I'm alongside my esteemed guest Kevin Tomlin. You got to think to yourself: Is he is he living in Birmingham? He might as well be. You know, he's seen all the talent and wealth that they've got up here, and he's doing a lot of historical things with myself in the city of Birmingham. And we're here in the Black History Month when we got to And now, you know, I have to talk to a historian. Why is it important? What is what has me- What's important about history? What you? Why do we need to be history? Because I think we have a very bad habit within Christendom to think that history is not important. Yeah, but yet our foundation is of a historical book. You know what I'm saying? A book, a Bible book, is a historical fact. But yet we don't want to rec- We don't want to reconcile history, or we select what history we want to lift up. You know what I mean? So, you know, if you're thinking, oh my gosh, why just go in there again? But you need to recognize the importance and it, the importance of historical knowledge. Yeah, because that's why. And I have to say, guys, yeah, you know, when you got a hidden love towards history. The only reason why I came out of history and I, and I flunked my GCSE in English, uh, my, 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 my history GCSE, is because when i did history before i did gccs is all about antarctica it's all about the different you know like the um scott and all them guys trying to get there it was, it was interesting it's about world history when i get to history gcc and what was it about industrial revolution who cares you know no no it was important yeah you see but it was more to do with english and a bit about history and it wasn't the history that i wanted and i was passionate about yeah and and, and i love talking about you know looking at um the the discoveries of australasia looking at the tasmanian community which is not there right now looking at the disco the so-called no it's not even discoveries the so-called discoveries of to the european world that's what it is discoveries for the european world of other nations yeah because their ignorance made them think that they were the only nation in the world so when they found another nation they're like whoa we found a new land but we in treaty lands were all functioning together from long time anyway so but that's a whole another subject in itself anyway so but why is history important now kevin straight up forget black music we'll be talking a lot about black music take music aside why is it imp- why is history important why do we need to um to 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 to, to put it down well governments and leaders repeat the same mistake over and over again mm. the new school the new school of um intellectuals and academians mm-hmm tend for some reason to become arrogant and feel that they know it and they can do it right from the beginning Mm. they have not learned to consult those who have been that way before okay and so they make the same mistake over and over again again. Mm. that simply means they have not taken the time out to consult with those Mm -hmm. who went this way before Napoleon is a typical example of that. Okay. Which Hitler didn't learn from Napoleon, trying to invade Russia. Mm -hmm. He was doing very good during the summer, but when the winter came, that was a different kettle of fish. Brother. You, uh, this, 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 listen guys i have to you know when somebody says something thinking i thought that all that time if only hitler studied napoleon he would realize there's one step too far every time you step to russia it's a different kettle of you fish. cannot you're, you're, you cannot win the russians during the winter <laughs> military wise 
that is a suicide. And they committed suicide. And they committed suicide. If they never, if they never even, if they left Russia alone in World War One, in World War Two, yeah, Germany would be a different country today. A matter of fact, it would be difficult to for the Americans and so on to actually. Um, they would have to send an atomic bomb into Germany, yeah, Germany to, to, stop, to actually to stop. stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, the yeah. Germans yeah. were well trained. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah, were. Yeah. Uh, they had some they serious military strategists. They, they groomed. They groomed, they, they, they groomed they, for war. They, they groomed for war. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. They weren't. They they fight to win. Mm. They fight to win, mm. just like the Japanese, mm. right? And so. The only way to actually win the Germans is to collaborate with the Red Army, according to Stalin. Yeah, man. Because yeah, if yeah. you attacking the German from the east and front, yeah, and the western front, yeah, eventually you would crack, crack. And then they had the northern lock, and then in this, 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 and they had the attacks coming from the south, yes, from the front uh, through that still, yeah. So sorry if we're going all military, thinking what's this got to do with Finnish uh, extra, but it's important to make important, us realize that important. that you, if you understand history, you won't make the mistakes. Every Sunday, we listen to historical stories to define how we walk in today's life. Yes, but yet, yeah, people don't want to ignore history, but yet. And, and, and I find that Christians don't understand what history is. I think that Christian history is dif- is different to um, the thing is different to to to. to so, but, well, let's put it to, secular yeah, history. It, uh, yeah, secular it, history. That's it, it, secular. It, it, yeah, it's yeah. total. But what they tend to forget, yeah, man, that when the Bible was written, it was written over a thousand years, and so there were several empires that emerged and declined mm. during that period mm, mm. the babylonian empire the mm. neo-babylonian the Medes and persian mm. the egyptian empire mm-hmm. the roman empire mm-hmm. and and also and also you said the greek you said the greek empire isn't it? yeah you know, the greek Alexandria. yes yes and yeah. also don't forget the cartagen the cartage empire that was part of north africa but people don't want to talk about cartage, bro, because because cartage they don't they don't they don't, cartage, they don't want to draw pictures of cartage, yeah, cartage bro. Cartage, but, but the thing is, if if, if, if they start talking about cartage, cartage too loud, cartage yeah will be basically African empowerment. If you yes, actually yes, if you actually yes. realize the biggest there's there's a couple of scary things that happened to the Roman Empire. And one of them was Hannibal the Great. Yes. Yeah. And don't get twisted. We all look at um my boy um 18. Um, Hannibal, you know what I mean. I think that was part of the, part of part of cleansing our mind, thinking that Hannibal was white. <laughs> he was not white. No, bro. Hannibal He's was a, a black, black man, black man, black man, but travelled across Spain, up through France, through the Alps. Yes. Got extra soldiers. Took elephants. Ended up with only two left by the time he got to past the Alps. Went up the Alps, you know. Yeah, down again, and then beat Roman on the own ground. The Romans, and then scared them that much. But he got beaten the second time. That's the book. You know, he got caught out. But they were scared of this brother. That imagine, uh, imagine. But they used his techniques on him In when the they end. went back. That's yeah. why Romans were successful because they learned from, from their the, man mistakes. And, yes, yes, and they yes. looked at history. And says, let's not go there because this is the problem here yes. let's not ramp it them brothers yes. that way because they're going to attack us like this but we're going to use their tactics against them you know yes, what i mean that's right that's right come on and the, a, another thing too um why the romans were great they studied from the great egyptian philosophers and tacticians they learned to build yeah they, because, they because, because they never they really not, started they, from fresh they never they, started from scratch did no, they? no no they, no, they no, built no. on the, the greek the empire. empire yeah yeah because they learned from each other they learned from each other mm-hmm. that's how they were actually able to build a formidable mm. military mm-hmm. and and structural government mm. and principalities mm. and powers come on right so that's how they were able to build um, efficient transportation system to get their message across across their empire the known yeah. empire yeah, 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 of yeah, yeah, the time yeah, yeah, the known yeah, yeah, world yeah, yeah, yeah. at the time time yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yes no no i get, yeah, I get the that. known world at the time so we mm. need to get that very clear and so when you look at people like leonardo da vinci mm. right they learn from the masters of the past that's why it's called it's called renaissance they okay. went back mm-hmm. the rebirth of learning yeah 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 yeah, yeah okay yeah, yeah, because yeah, 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 remember yeah. the egyptians yeah 
and the, the uh, magi, mm. these um, royal um, philosophical or mm. uh, men of immense intelligence mm. that troubled the whole Roman Empire. Mm. They were the untouchables because you could not, if you did anything to a Magi, you get in trouble actually. Okay, These cool. guys were at a different spiritual level and they were black. All they right, were man, black. All right. They were right. from, they came from the East, bro. They didn't came from the West. Hello. Yeah, I'm saying. So, yeah. so you, so, um, all the empires that was built mm. in the Optimum Empire, etc., they learned from the East, from Africa. But, but something, I know Bishop's going to be taking up on this, I think the, the, the colour of the Bible, yeah? Yes, I, yes, I don't yes, want to really yes. go too much into the colour of the Bible. But if people realise from studies that five out of, four out of five um, of, of Jesus' lineage was that white. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying well, it's, 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 so, it's so, impossible. So, it's, it's impossible. so just imagine, you know, what I mean, what Jesus looked like if yeah. if only one of them, uh, one out of five, could have been white, and well, I said could have been, you yeah, know, what because I mean? if you look at the historical information from um, from historical research, yeah, in I say Somalia and so mm. forth, mm. Uh, the Bible that's written during that period. Mm and um, the migrations mm. of Jews all the way up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, there was certainly, well, matter of fact, a white person couldn't cope in that terrain, actually, mm. because it's so hot. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. so hot. Yeah, man, that's a black so, man and, and eventually, eventually the color will change because you, you, you live in, in a, um, a climate, <laughs> this is a totally different climate. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, so, if you look at a lot of the Somalian women, especially the ones that are princess, right? They're so beautiful that they're flawless sometimes. If they take this, take care of themselves, bro, they look literally flawless. But it, but it shows you the, the definition of beauty is, is, is what we get put in front of us. You know what I'm saying? Not, you know. uh, well, um, I was talking to a friend of mine mm. who came very close to... Um, Arab royalties and she said that the way they take care of their woman is quite different than the West they bark them different they treat them different the way they manicure them is mm. all natural stuff mm -hmm. they almost they almost doesn't sometimes don't even touch the floor mm -hmm. <laughs> these, these royalties they yeah. are treated a princess and when they go when they get old they look they look exactly they still look younger than the Queen yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I met yeah, one of them, yeah. and she she was seventy five, and she looked pretty nice. Okay, Very, cool, 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 cool. There was no wrinkles. Okay, there was okay, no okay. wrinkles when when she put off take off her when she took off her yeah. thing to show me. Yeah. She, there was no wrinkles. But the thing is there, bro, and this is what I'm saying to you, it's about you know, I mean, the importance of knowing who you are and knowing what what, what you do to 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 look after you. Or, or, okay, or for, for, for for instance, I see a lot of young ladies trying to be Western. What is Western? When in actual fact, if you look at the Egyptians, the Egyptians taught the Westerns beauty. But according to me, the Egyptians are white. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I, I don't know how that could be possible. I don't know how that could be possible. Uh, when they were I, job, yeah, 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 I don't know yeah, if that yeah, become possible yeah. with a, a Nigeria going back and forth the, as the, the as Southern the Empire yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Southern Empire yeah, and, and Kush, the, the Kushites the yeah. Kush and they, all, yeah, they yeah. migrate with each yeah. other and they yeah. intermarriage mm. a lot of people don't realise that when they were doing diplomatic arrangements and trade they usually their children marry into that royal family to solidify so that's, how think, right? yeah, cool. that's how they do it you know just say, okay you marry my daughter mm. into that royal family mm. and so we can actually do business mm -hmm. right your royal son looks pure. They, they, they check out each other, you know. They check the, yeah, yeah. They check the legacy and they, they le check out the, the pedigree. Mm. They very much was into pedigree and royalty. And okay, preserving. Cool. cool, 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 cool. So no, the, no, I get where you're going this from. Is, this, is, yeah. this is deep. So when you look at people like um, Queen Charlotte, who was the was the, the wife of George the Third. This is the king. Black, it, it, yes, yes, it, it, yes, yes. King of England. King, king of England. George the Third married uh african queen hello Ooh, that really Shh. contradicts you don't say nothing people keep it quiet yeah, yeah. That so that, that part of history got deleted very quickly and but it came back up again mm. because the queen the megan 
uh, caused a bit of a stir there. Mm. And where Meghan was married mm. was where Queen Charlotte was buried. Mm. Right? And the, the city of Charlotte, Ooh. the city of Charlotte is named after her. Okay, okay, it's like that. Okay, mm. cool. Yeah, All right. Yeah, yeah, Charlotte yeah. in America. Yes. Okay, okay. Hey. Oh, well, so you get a bit of a history lesson there, guys. You yes, know, be yeah. pretty, uh, be pretty proud. That's, that's a good, that's a good one. Isn't it? So yes. the city of Charlotte was named after the Black Queen of England. Yes. Wow. Um, so that is the Queen. Wow. Remember, that is the, that's Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth, great, great, mm. great, great, great grandmother. Hello. Yeah, Ooh, man. God. Ouch. Mm, and, mm. And, and the joke is now still, yeah, black people are proud of their Scottish heritage that is four generations before, which was more forced on them than anything else. But yet, but yet people don't want to mention nothing about the history of black people within the, within, within the royal lineage. You know what I'm saying? Which there's pictures of her in, 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 in the royal, royal palace. Yes, now, there is. There saying, is actually. Why, there are you, is. why are you guys talking about this like this? Because the reality show is no one told me growing up the lineage included a black person and stand up and be proud i remember it was a history teacher in a white school that i grew up in a history a white old history teacher had to tell off maybe this is my got synergy towards history bro mr parker mr parker stood up and when i was, he could see that we, uh, myself, myself was getting a bit of um, abuse off the white kids in the class yeah he turned around and said if it wasn't for their parents grandparents yeah in world war one and two me and my two asian friends he pointed to us if it wasn't for our empire people yeah we would have been messed up i mean it comes to war we would never won world war one without them we'd never won world war two uh, without them and there's a continual not only one whitewashing of the bible is whitewashing of history altogether and i'm not saying um roger you're saying too much oh just ignore it let's move forward right, but we right, can't right, move right. forward until it's been it's true it's thing when we when we when, when people says to produce history yeah to be a true historian yeah you need to get truthful accounts together so if you purposely change history to suit you your creed your color the what the government said to do what is that what is that and that has happened bro yes um, um what, a, lot what, of, mean, a lot of things have been that's not history I mean, yeah this that is um propaganda oh that's the word that's the word that's propaganda yeah cool. yeah because it is there's no historical um, so what so, so so history lesson for hmm. me going through school when they would say that basically oh the empire helped civilize the world that's straight up british empire propaganda um but let, this is right quite interesting um the r romantic period that was during um the so-called romantic period the, the, so -called yeah. romantic the, the whitewashing of the yeah, world yeah, so, yeah, 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 so -called, yeah. Yes, renaissance they call it the yeah it, well it's after the renaissance actually it, oh, it came sorry. after the renaissance, renaissance. but the renaissance <laughs> begin that <laughs> renaissance the, yeah the renaissance sort of begin the what you call the waking mm -hmm. Go of, on. of of, of Go on, uh, wiki. The, yes and so with the, with the romantic period they established the fact that we need to rewrite history basically and say that it was we were the enlightened ones so everything that happened after that especially during the height of slavery onwards um blacks were treated as subhuman right mm. they had to be treated as subhuman and they had to create a uh, a doctrination which became a spirit and a demon in itself because you, if you mm. keep on subjecting and you keep on using the same men to pregnate more women to produce this subhuman species mm. ooh, 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 okay. ooh, 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 ooh. so in actual fact that's how the world became westernized right mm. because what it did was um it went to these countries and make sure it whitewashed the intellectuals mm -hmm. okay if you remember when daniel went into captivity right yeah 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 um, yeah, yeah, yeah they took him into captivity but not kill him because of his intellectual ability and spiritual anointing you know so daniel was sort of untouchable in most respect 
Mm. But the difference with Daniel is that he was connected to God and eventually whatever they did to him, they could not they could not destroy him. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is what the style of every empire they go in, mm. they take the intellectual, they're marrying the woman, they sort of um what you call diluted the royal families of the respective countries. Yep. Um so the interesting thing that we need to understand that the African royal family is actually integrated with the British and the French and so on. So they actually dilute them over time. Over time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, and yeah, they yeah, become cool. mixed race and so forth, so on, you know, etc. Yeah, mixed ethnicity, yeah, yeah man. Uh, yeah, but yeah. Uh, one thing, the, the most amazing royal families is the ones that was of the Portuguese <laughs> ingredients because the Portuguese seem to be integrated very well. Um, more with, with yeah. they just they just produce very interesting women and boys and girls because um they understand mixing a uh, matter of fact i got a history from one of the girls that i worked with and uh, colleagues mm. she said her mother was about to be raped actually in an angolan village mm. and the white portuguese soldier said she is my wife and he saved her from being raped and he fell in love with her he did not leave his portuguese wife they understood but he saved her from being raped what um the big question she fell in love with him as well um mm, that's wow, an interesting this, story this, that, that is a heavy story because well, you always come out, you just, uh, maybe because Kevin's been around for a bit more. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, so you, know, and I, you I, have I, to absorb I, information over the over the years. Yes, I've so, seen a lot of things. You know, she came up with me, and I said, um, no, "You, you look very mixed race, but um, you have you have a very strong European as well as black heritage." Yeah, and yeah. then she gave me the story. Mm. She said, um, "Her mum did not have any other man. She mm. wasn't married to a Portuguese father." because he had his family but okay. they accept her in and they loved her they adored her this is this is the portuguese girl mixed race wow she said they adored her didn't marry but he loved her to the every, end every he loved her there. to the end <laughs> and the brother the brother couldn't is uh, a soldier he could he didn't but mm. he didn't want to leave her he made sure he took her out of angola wow. as his wife yeah, man, mm. because that's a uh, that's a, 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 yeah. a Portuguese territory, right? Yes, there. yes, yeah, yes. And he sa- yeah, and he saved her. Now, what would you think? What do you think? If she reviews, refused mm. him, mm. she would have been raped. My friend said, "Mum would have been raped." But so, said, so, that's that, that's history right there in this. Um, in itself, when it's so, it, it, it's probably. Again, um, and this is what I'm saying to you guys, you know, it's stories and testimonies that build a picture of a culture, a, a system. And, and, and we do know that the Southern Mediterranean um, cultures have a different approach to, 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 to black people um, due to um, a lot of things. It's not a case that wasn't part of slavery, not part of, they weren't part of the system um, of, of making money of us as, as black people. But the reality to show is that they got a part to play and the importance, I want to refer back to, I know Kevin's bringing out stories, which is important because stories and tales of things that we put down together to give people right. a picture of yes. it so to solidify the bible what you have to do you have to look up things like josephus josephus woke ro- 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 up wrote a book about the f- sights and scenes of what he saw around in his time and that book to this day is a backup to this man jesus christ was on earth and moves that will be made at the time his book backs up what was happening in the new testament so it's important that you have to realize it's important to testify and tell um and, and put out put out a knowledge out there but one thing that i would say that is in Af- afro slave um culture is the inability to record history because we have we that's been knocked out of us due to slavery and it's important now that we get up and start dying full and put our history out there because without our history we're not doing we're not, we're not used to building up our next generation every other nation that knows itself has been pushing history you know what I'm saying? Making sure they know where they come from. Make sure you know Royal Britannia rules the world. We ruled the world. We're gonna tell you when we ruled every nation. They know what they did. 
they don't know outside of the story but they know what they did and what they did they they helped um um protect us from slavery they came and stopped slavery we, we know there's another side of the story but the reality of the show is that you know um uh, we need to get in the habit and push and and encourage the um um how can i say the 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 the, the recording of 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 history i get criticized within the gospel scene bro for maybe i spend too much time reminding people of my my history in terms of events and whatever so yeah i get critically criticized what's the point of going back to the 80s and 90s which i'm doing studies of in the gospel scene what's the point roger maybe the point is why are we titting around right now and not getting nowhere is because we don't know our history that's the re- that's the reality this is why guys black history month as bishop said in, in my last podcast with bishop is that you know what i find that history um should be something we looked in all year round the reason why we have black history month is because the reality show is our history was taken out of history and that's why they have to have this focal point we need to have it all year round what there's a reason why you don't have chinese history there's a reason why you don't have asian history there's a reason why you don't have um a white history because their history is there and their people have passed it on for generations they have wiped out of afro-american people america's people mm-hmm. that is from brazil argentina all the way up right up into canada the afros slaves they nullify their history and you've got a people that don't know who they are and their history so this is the catch-up that we have and we're going to use that and put positive history into our people talk tales tell them about you what your stories you know about your grandma positive tales even negative stuff so we can learn to move forward you know what i'm saying so so um history is key for our growth we use it every week you know another thing too that um it just dawned on me why why black men are so promiscuous it just dawned on me well they they were promiscuous basically by the slaves the slaves taught them through their dna to just pregnant women yeah 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 yeah, yeah and yeah, so yeah, yeah, they yeah, actually yeah, yeah, yeah. they just like, like cattle yeah it's like, it's like, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah because cattle. yeah because i have to say some people that and some brothers i know they're like a roam they just want they just go from one woman to the other and just drop just drop and they cannot yeah, yeah and they cannot they cannot commit so there 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 is another problem as well with a lot of um should i say black men, uh, black men you know because of yeah. that dna and that seed that's why it's very important to actually take a stock when you go into families and so forth and to understand history and why that family behave the way they behave mm. because history to me is shapens uh, shapens yes, a family because, yeah, yeah history to me is also knowledge and knowledge and open your eyes to why when how Mm. that's why i wrote this book about that's why i wrote this book about the icons of new orleans because a lot of people a lot of people don't actually understand that um rock and roll music originated from new orleans it's one of the key places especially the the percussion rolling the drums by the late earl palmer okay and soul music as well rhythm and blues which impacted sam cook and the list can go on right so and this is this is the this is the what you call the fertile ground and of course there was a lot of caribbean musicians jamaicans and um, fats domino went to jamaica many a times to jam a lot of people don't know that so so oh, e- e- you know? e- and the thing is again uh you know mm. i was listening to a podcast um of a daughter of one of the founding um our bands of ccm yeah, yeah that's you know right, what i'm yeah. saying you know yeah and she described her dad and i can't remember the band's name but i'll, I'll try and find that podcast i did i'm like i might have to make a minute to know and she said herself and she has a struggle towards saying if you say it's a white it's a white girl um um she has a struggle when um um you say crt she don't like talking about um, critical race for you she's very critical about the, the you know what i mean about about black lives matter she's very critical against it yeah um mm-hmm. but that's the thing securities but her dad she said that 
he was he was into the hippie movement and rock and roll mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and he brought that he got saved and he brought that sound into in, into worship and one of the founding bands bands of the ccm sound mm-hmm. and i'm going hold on a second are you saying that a rock and roll white guy you know I mean, which is cool got his band together and played some great music mm-hmm, the ccm mm-hmm. the scene backed them because mm-hmm. you know um it's a great sound mm-hmm. where was that sound from black people black but, people. But, but the problem is if a black person was on front they wouldn't get the backing wouldn't get yeah. the support yes. and white people wouldn't buy the music and, the, and, and 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 understanding now when i'm watching podcasts mm-hmm. and they're talking about the sound of worship mm-hmm. and they look at us like we're here teaching black people the sound of worship you ain't teaching us nothing yeah. you teeth our sound mm-hmm. sing on top of it mm-hmm. not in a great way mm-hmm. and then you give it back to us and say oh it's cool like like this is the sound of worship no 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 we founded the sound of worship you know what i'm saying you know I me mean? and it's not about no other color allowed to touch it we're not saying that but stop 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 washing whitewashing everything you know what i'm saying yo black and white can do it. we're not forced but the problem is you've made it into a sound which has been we're bringing this to you really uh, dude bring bring what um yeah. matter of fact it's like me bringing fish and chips to, to, yeah, yeah, to yeah. an english house and says yeah, yeah. oh we're here you come to the caribbean mm. oh you want fish and chips well i want to come all the way over here for some fish, fish and, chips, and chips for me you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah. but you're coming to so 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 you you wouldn't like somebody insulting you from another nation saying mm. oh you're going to chinese you're not going to, you know and you have fish and chips in the chinese and and, and they said oh we're bringing this to you no so you were like no mate no mate your teeth is from the shop around the corner mm, yeah mm, and mm. you do it in here just in case i don't like the chinese yeah but don't yes, sell it as chinese it's yeah. insultive yes. and they don't do that so mm. why sell us this music like it's not us but the thing the, the one of the big challenges that um um the music industry didn't really explode until it incorporated black creative entities it's very simple um rita franklin when she came on the scene and exploded with her single and otis redden sam cook curtis mayfield all those brothers were beginning to emerge as creative entities with motown the industry went over the billion dollar mark in 1967 it was struggling that is a fact i can actually show you the data it's not and so i've come to the conclusion now that um the real creative power brokers behind the industry and its success are people of black origin um yeah that, you know the, 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 look when it comes to larry goal larry goal one of the top string arrangers white string arranger he says i do soul music i don't do rock and roll and all that i do soul music i do mm. i do some rhythm and blues mm. i like mm. my i like my soul music and he said uh, that's why he does arrangements and he's made a career a white guy's made a career off that full time he's oh. one of the best string arrangers he's jewish but he's, he has an attitude he likes black music full yeah. stop he doesn't even and we like him too that. and we like him too amen you know and gamble enough love him they used to work for gamble enough he worked for tim blake and timbland and etc etc now let's think, think about it think about it um one of the one of the most successful string arrangers in history is a gentleman called benjamin wright um when mm. you hear stop till you get enough he's one of the few people who made the strings the intro to the track <laughs> completely changed completely turned it upside down total mastery big in joe big 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 and to me when i took my time out after a while i said you know what let me sort of study this music let me study about you know and i start looking just like i was listening to patrick and and tony yesterday we start looking at the credits and these certain fellow gentlemen and sisters come up all the time on white group on white artist albums and black and we said hmm so and i used to, and i decided to develop the phrase the creative power brokers behind the music mm. not the artists in front mm. but the people who define the sound mm. who give it its energy mm. and depth mm. 
mm. and power mm. and impact and spirituality. Come on. You know, that's what I'm actually interested in. Come on. The Nathan East. Mm. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel we could go on, we could go on all night. Nathan East and um, Earl, Earl Palmer, Earl Young, brilliant drummers. Dexter Wanzel, another one who takes strings and synthesize and incorporate it and it comes fluid and yeah, you man. can't duplicate it. Yeah, man. These total masters mm-hmm. who actually study classics to its ultimate level and produce masterpieces that are timeless. That's the sort of history I'm interested in when I write these collection of series. If you I- want to know what's going on. I'm interested. It, in that. Here's a question to you, bro. Yeah, yeah go so ahead, I know bro. you're touching some of the just yeah, um, some music stuff anyway. So yeah, but let's let's go back to history itself. Yes, yeah. go ahead, bro. As as a, as a teacher in school, yes, and seeing history, yeah, not many people pick it up, do they? After the GCC level, is it something we, we get pushed on history? And well, um, is, 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 um, uh, there's very few people actually take on history. Um, remember, it's it's sort of a uh, matter of fact, there's one history that is not being spoken of. The three day a week situation in, in the UK during the 70s. Nobody, none of the history books. I checked it out. Mm-hmm. I've been in schools, the British system for a long while. And there was, there's no documentation of the three day a week in British history. Three day a week? What's three day a week? Right. Three day a week <laughs> is when they had the oil embargo during the Ted Eat years. When the when the oil cartels OPEC actually kept um, kept the West at ransom and okay. said that we're not going to produce oil and so on and so on and um, what happened uh, Britain had to go through what you call a um, rationing situation where mm. this one street the light is on and then another street there was no light what, you, they, they what, was, that, what was that? that was during the 70s bro and okay, when I was pe- a baby. Yeah. yeah, and that's um, I remember that quite vividly. Mm. And people used to work three days a week. So they have to take care of their family. Hello. I love that, man. Yeah. yeah they come like furlough. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That, that was something similar to furlough, yes. And they survived. Right? And that was a global situation. That was challenging to the West. Three days a week. Can you imagine? You, instead of working your five days you're working three days so that means two days you've lost earning for two days and you have to take care of your family for weeks on that and, and that's not uh, even taught uh, in uh, history you know that's, there's a several things that is not being taught and actually. that's and that's res- resilience development yeah you know what i'm saying and that develops the next generation to know yes. that we can get through this because my parents gone through the coal mining strike gone through the three day day week week. three day week situations these things build societies but when you continually take out real history to suit um a political party's agenda to suit a a a a people's agenda Mm -hmm. to lie to them to say who they are yeah yeah tell the truth because the truth will set you free you know you know so like for me (laughs) um it 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 stop taking credit where credit's not due you know and something i said to bishop you know um um, um, and and uh, from a history perspective, bro, mm-hmm. Black History Month is fantastic, and I love it. You know what I mean? I love I love what we need to do more about it and, and talk about it. I'm going to be doing some things on the station and mm-hmm. I'll post out some black. Um, uh, I must be proud, proud to be. You know what I'm saying? I'm yes. proud to be black uh, because we have been told to be proud. But uh, we have to show is that they always come up with inventions that we do. Now the thing is, let's talk about when we were kings. Yeah, that's, we are that's, kings. That's, yeah. Let's go, but let's go back yeah, into yeah, proper yeah, history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the problem is, when you start talking about proper history, you get asked a question: Who destroyed these these kings? Well, Europe. But, that's yeah, the problem. Europe, yeah, you because the, the royal. The, um, okay. Oh dear, oh dear, we really go into some deep waters here. <laughs> um, when you look at those empires, mm. they were so sophisticated that the West learned of them. Mm. Now you think about an empire that was around a few thousand years before Britain even thought Britain were running around in um, 
and looking rather primitive, so to speak. The, the Druids period, the Druids, Druids period, period, the, right, the Druids, right, the Druids the and Celtic period. people yeah, yeah. wanting things in England that scared people. Thinking, like yeah, the Romans yeah. went up here and said, what the heck is going on here? Yeah, yeah, these are yeah, savages. These, yeah. these, 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 yes, yes, these guys yes. are different. These yes, guys are scary. The different material. It took the Romans quite a while to beat the head brothers. Yeah, 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 because they, they, spiritual. They, yeah, because that is a demons right there. Um, Watch so, you guys. So, 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 so mm, we have to be careful. Politically yeah, correct, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm saying. Mm, but the language, is, language, language. But the, but the, 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 the dudes, the, yeah. the dudes, um, fair play, they did the thing over here. What yeah. we had to show is that basically that the Romans come over here, try Caesar, try to, cut, to capture this land, and, and, it was, you know, I mean, you, you could, these guys were spiritual savvy. Listen, yeah. still, it's Stonehenge. No, it's no, just a couple of stones put round mm. together. No, bro, that was a spiritual Some, epicenter. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah, yeah. these things hmm. are real talk. So you have to realize that you know what, and this is why the history of paganism mm -hmm. isn't a black thing, no, and we get isn't. taught no, no, that. Uh, oh, witchcraft, the hardcore witchcraft is in Africa. I remember reading things by Christians saying that Christianity in Africa is very dodgy because it's intertwined with, 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 with witchcraft and, and, and spiritualism, yeah? But I'm afraid prosperity gospel and all these other different things that are led by white people are full of witchcraft involved in them a few of hypnosis and different techniques yes, that yes, they take yes, out of course of uh, course uh, out, out of borrowed borrowed borrowed, yeah. borrowed from the bible mm. but they borrowed techniques and so on mm. and um that's very interesting when they talk about africa as such africa we've got to remember if you're talking about christianity it came from that part of the world mm. they, they were close to nature they understand the power of god in his creativity mm, mm. because if that's a fact how could they build these in enormous and incredible buildings like the pyramids which stand the test of time you can't tell me that they were savages excuse me mm. um are you stupid mm -hmm. and these people were uh, were actual naval they understand morning time skills mm -hmm. you know they trade they go you know so i just don't have no time for that nonsense when you're liberated when your mind is being open and enlightened remember you talk about knowledge is power you have knowledge you will not perish people perish because of the lack of knowledge i say it again people perish because of the lack of knowledge bible truth there. yes bible truth people perish financially because of the lack of knowledge knowledge amen to that <laughs> and and, and, and the bible talks about financial intelligence it talks about um um business building everything is in that in that book mm. and all the motivational speakers they get their knowledge from the book and they make it their own like as if you know i don't need no smoking so listen the, the, we just just read solomon alone bro and uh, uh, <laughs> proverbs and so forth and ecclesiastics and uh, ecclesiastics man i mean you talk about learning to operate with discretion mm. that book teaches how to deal with women men and women you know the whole operation they teach about emotional intelligence you know come on now great mm -hmm. so 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 so, so create this absolute um crazy creativity creativity, yeah, creativity, yes, creativity yeah creativity and and mm -hmm. the joke is mm. you you can't keep on reading selective reading you got to read the whole oh, yeah, you, yeah, have to, you, you have to go, you have to go in, the whole journey intensity. if you're going to look at solomon don't just look at solomon, solomon from, from from the songs of solomon, solomon. Pers 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 yeah, perspective you got to go the proverbs entires, you got to look at ecclesiastics yes. lamentations you know what you got to go deep and, bro. and deep, understand deep, that the deep, guy deep, deep, deep. went through highs and lows, and, lows. And, and, and cross reference his life in um yep. where, where he recollects in yes. kings and in samuel samuel and never look at the king's dynasty and how he fit in things and was he really a successful king yes he did a, he did amazing things but also he actually built temples for for, for his wives and being distracted well, well yes yes because, know, distracted um, for, for his things yes, so understand yes. don't use some don't use solomon uh, because i've had people use solomon to justify um 
um, 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 the utilization of, of uh, you know them, them going to do secular music. I'm not saying you shouldn't do secular music. Far from it. But be be very careful to use the Bible to justify your position. If you said to me straight, Roger, listen, I need to make some money. You know what I'm saying, and I mm-hmm. believe God's got me. I'm a mature Christian now, mm-hmm. and I believe I'm ready to be in a scene which 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 promotes anti me, and I will and I will prayerfully, you know, me be led by God who I work with and who I'm around and how I yes. conduct myself out yes. there. Cool, understand, mm-hmm. but do not grab 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 songs of Solomon as an excuse. Said, oh, so if songs of Solomon can do love songs, I can go out there and do love songs. Don't be ignorant uh, because because, because Solomon Solomon turned around and said, me chase the woman all my life. And then when I look at life, looking back at all the women and all the money I had, and it says life is miserable. Now the only time, it, all of my advice is to people. This is Solomon's word: is seek God. Yeah, yeah. That's all you got to do in life: seek and follow God. You know what I mean? Forget the women. Mm. Forget the the money. I had it all, mm-hmm. but the push. The woman part to me when he was running around doing great lyrics which is great people and great intelligence you know what i'm saying great things he was the wisest god gave him everything when he asked for wisdom mm-hmm. and if you thinking yeah, yeah yeah he had everything but look before you start pushing these things and this is why history and this is where even preachers need to understand history because you have to contextualize what you're preaching because if you're preaching it out of context, it's good as a motivational speak, speech, but it's not biblical fact. Yeah, because another thing too, which is vitally important, um, if you're teaching people to become financially intelligent, you also have to teach them to become morally intelligent. Wow. Because if you're trying to actually, um, the, the, the worst thing that could happen is a, finance, is a f- powerful young man with no sexual discipline is like an explosive out of control yeah yeah right yeah, 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 so yeah. it has to be balanced yeah it yeah, has yeah, yeah, to yeah, be yeah. Because balanced destruction, because the, because the love of mammon mammon is, yeah i mean mm, with, with money you oh, know what i'm saying so is everything, got, not, not money but the love of money money, money is, is a powerful, powerful tool thing. Yeah, but it's then, a powerful tool to, to to if i had a million a million pounds right now how would i take the station forward oh my goodness sake it'd be crazy have this have this have this yeah. it'd be great we all have our dreams and aspirations right. i would love to have that situation it's just not the case guys but we had to show is that but the love of money the chasing of money the gratification how we utilize money is that when we get it we can't even share it man bro we don't even put it up for the next generation yeah we throw it away um another thing too that was really challenging let's look at solomon another thing was challenging with Solomon. solomon is the sexual integration with these different um different, different cultures. empires yeah, and women yeah, 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 yeah because remember some of these women concubines were concubines and so on were not schooled in biblical mm-hmm. principles mm-hmm. you know they didn't study the the ten commandments they mm-hmm. didn't study the thing they weren't they weren't mentored by great jewish women mothers mm-hmm. you know who actually prepared say queen esther and so forth mm. you know these these we, these were not a queen esther yeah yeah, yeah, yeah no yeah, they yeah, weren't yeah, yeah, they yeah, were yeah. they were they were gentile women would have no affiliation or interest in the things of god mm. that's where solomon failed yeah, when we yeah, talk yeah. about remember when joshua god instructed joshua to remember the commandments remember you will prosper remember 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 yeah man that's remember it. remember that's it. This is so it, when you're moving in that's why um people like daniel survived in the two empires because he remember from whence he came mm. and what he was prepared for mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so yeah. when we go out into the secular world when you go to the secular world i remember my dad and mom used to talk to us a lot and said right you're going into new territory <laughs> be prepared you're going into the kingdom of man which mm. is different rules and protocol Mm. How are you going to fit in that? How are you going to shine in that? You know, if you're moving and get the wrong woman, bro, you're in trouble. That can take you away from the things of the Lord. And sometimes predators are in the church that will take the young man and young woman away from the Lord and from the calling. Sometimes it take a while for them to get back. You know, so. Whoa, 
Okay, 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 okay. We're going into deep. We're going into deep. And these things, guys, you know, things. This is why it's important. We're gonna cool down now, bro. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna round, we're gonna round off, round it up, round the old man. So, guys, you know, we just made some points, and it's like you're thinking, people are going, what the heck? They just just listen to anyway. So yeah, it's just us talking about you know the importance of history looking at stories that we've we've been around that's helped guide us on our walk um yes. understanding and how why we need to apply history yes, correctly yes, culturally yes. biblically Clean. you know say because it's important Total that we balance, we, say, balance, we, balance. we 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 get a uh, we get a full picture you know when people uh, uh, i know certain people hate this with me when you come if kevin comes to me and says but why just also hit me i go is it now, Kev may want me to go there and box up the person, yeah? But I'm the sort of guy going, okay, cool, Kev. Let's check out. Are you okay? Yeah, cool. Let me go and talk to Fred. Fred Wagwan, yo, blood. The man lit me first. And I said, okay, is it right? Okay, great. Your account is different to his account. Who saw this? Jane. Jane, 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 what exactly happened in here? So you right i get the full picture now mm-hmm. jane collaborates mm-hmm. with kevin's story mm-hmm. so now i can go there but sometimes mm-hmm. we just respond to one account because one account. we're poor we're poor um analyzers of information yes we very are. poor we will we we, we we quick to jump on one account one version so i am not happy we've just listened to one version of a type of doctrine one element of doctrine. let me have a look at other doctrines let me have a look yes, at why i wish there's nothing wrong into looking into why should i sabbath worship yes um why shouldn't i sabbath worship why did they go this route yes. why was the foundations of jehovah witnesses yes. why did the seventh day split away and did their thing did yes. the thing oh yes, yes. even split away they probably just did it for, for at the time anyway still yeah and when people can turn around and say the apostolic roots go back to the church but go to the, ori- the origins of christianity mm. let me look into that let me look at different different views of it if we don't look and look at different aspects of certain things when the time comes we get bl- blown like the chaff in the wind you know what i mean and that's a direct out of psalms but listen guys this is roger here and affinity extra we just talk and strengthen the fact mm-hmm. that the importance of looking at history from a cultural biblical life experience perspective and we're having two big man telling you about the importance of how it's directed and wish i had this information all when i was 11 in my brain right now if i had this information in my 11 i would i'll be uh, man bro you would be talk, yo how far this is when they said that the, the why sometimes what, what, what the bible says about the um about it's wasted on the um youth is wasted on the young uh uh uh, uh is he wasted did he use the word wasted in the bible? well did the, um i call call unto you young man because you're strong and the wise man is full of vision mm. so it's, it's working with both yeah you know it's combining working, both. That, that, kind of, that. it's it's part, part of mentorship mm. where you mentorship and you let him go with the right foundation and mentorship is handing down yes you're it's, it's, it's a creative baton yeah, change yeah, yeah cool it's a baton change cool. and hence Batoned, why uh, yes. when i do historical stuff yes. uh, that's why i do it with kevin because he's been around and studied a lot more in this thing so there's no point me starting reinventing the world it's to work alongside and to support and to learn yeah and you give me a new platform and i learn <laughs> from you with new things coming on so it's a constant yeah, it's, learning you learn and, develop, and then it evolves yes, and, we grow yes, things and, evolve, and yeah. this is why we need next next generation people underneath us right now to come through and learn as well yes, but listen man. this is roger on affinity extra way to celebrate gospel music of black origin please i've heard um i'm checking out my stats right now but yes it's true 50 percent of the people that watch these videos don't subscribe to the station you may listen to on the station which is www.affinityextra.com but we encourage you to subscribe to Affinity Extra because we got a whole heap of content out there with myself and Kevin talking about historical elements of, of music and we're building it up and people are thinking why are you building this up for? Because we're building a catalogue that a generation in, in two, two, two decades away can look back and go that's facts the one thing you can't change is history so yes, if we talk from right. a historical perspective not a future perspective 
a historical that's a fact that the generations could say at that time this is what they saw and we're talking what we see so we hail up and we celebrate black history because there's so much to be proud of because you know yeah we're just black and proud and i say it aloud i think Mark martin luther king said that in it oh it yeah. was uh, james brown james, actually black oh, and yeah. proud. Oh, well, well, that's it james brown think it was by- <laughs> no 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 it was james brown that was the that was what part of his brand i'm black and i'm proud yo oh yes i and am I sing black aloud. and i uh, sing aloud i am oh. black ding, ding, and ding, 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 i am ding, proud ding, ding, ding. This answer's going to James. To James. Oh, yeah. okay, right. but, but anyway, let's cool down. Let's let's cool down cool James Brown is a whole different person. Oh, anyway, different listen, ball listen, game. If we, if, if we, did, right, mm. James Brown is coming up, guys. Don't worry, we'll, we'll talk James about James, James Brown, Brown because sooner or later. He, he, he's it's a, a different, he's, he's different groove. Listen, different, different crazy man. But listen, let's end this off, guys. Enough love. Thanks, Kevin Tommy, for jumping in. Pleasure, pleasure. Do check out his books on Amazon, right, guys? Right about now, check out his books. It is on. It is just put signature and you find it even if you put kevin tomlin as a writer in amazon and music you know yes kevin it, tomlin it, music historian you will find my book yeah it's an induction of soul and r&b come on man r&b heads come on man you need to get this book out here still yes yeah. it's there looking lovely it's got image pictures i love books with pictures in i absolutely love books with pictures in I, because it helps me read trust me you know yeah, yeah it does help but anyway this is roger and affinity extra here to celebrate gospel music of black origin enough love to everybody and celebrating black history God bless you. Peace and love. Visit us for updates and shows at affinityextra.co.uk. 